Hello? Uh, yeah, that's me. Um, not much, why? Oh, okay, um, thanks for letting me know. I'll, I'll be there soon. Are you related to Stanley? Yeah, um, he's my grandfather. You must be ill. I've heard so much about you. It's so great to finally meet you. I I'm Michael, Stan's primary carer. So, can I see him? You can. It might be a bit tough to see. You sure you don't want to wait for your family to arrive? Uh, no. I'll wait in there with Pop. Of course. Yeah. Don't worry. He's, he's not in any pain. He's quite comfortable. He can hear you. And he knows you. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just talk to him. He likes his mail read to him. He loves music, if you can sing. <laughs> I don't have a great singing voice. <laughs> don't want anybody to think someone dying in here. <laughs> I mean, um, somebody else. I'm just gonna read the mail. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll, I'll just be out in the ward. Dear Stan, I'm sorry for not writing sooner. Life has been rough lately. I recently returned home and it's been tough. Living with my mum again has been a nightmare. I'm home. You will not believe the day I've had. M Mrs. Reynolds. You're Jesus home. Christ, boys. And that was just the beginning. I really miss the privacy and freedom we had while on the open road. Hopefully I won't have to live with her forever. I've been looking for a place to call home. I want a place with big windows in an accepting neighbourhood. I want a lot of space and I want my own space. I'm tired of homophobic roommates being something to consider, but I can't afford these places at this point in time. Then, of course, there was what happened with Todd. Well, this is it. Look, they fit my feet perfectly. <laughs> Maybe I could wear my shirt like this. You... You don't think it's too much, do you? I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> no. Thankfully, his injuries weren't more severe. He's doing a lot better now, but I don't think he'll be going out anytime soon. And I don't think we'll be showing the world that we're a couple for a while either. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just this um, this letter. It's written by Oliver. It stands for a type of letter. Never met Oliver in person. Some people around here are not even sure if he's real. She half expected him to be. Oh, uh, El, your mum and sister are here. Hey bud, you okay? Why does everybody here know me as Elle? Well, Poppy Stan loves you, he's probably been talking to people about you. Yeah, but why Elle? I thought you'd talk to him. I'm I did. not that person anymore. I did, but he's just sick and forgetful. And we should just forget everything about me. Oh, I wish he'd remember anything about me. Yeah. Cold, bland soup. Is uh, everything okay here? Oh, can you get me the waiter, please? This soup is cold. Okay, Stan. Just give me the bowl and I'll take care of it. Wait, what, wait, what are you doing Dad. with my food? Dad. 
How's Al? Is she doing her homework? Actually, hey, Hannah. Hannah. She's fine, Dad. She's a good kid, stays out of trouble. How's Rachel? I haven't spoken to her in a long time. I miss her. She's got that new boyfriend now, Jimmy. She hasn't even called me since she met him. Uh, I'm right here, Dad. James passed away years ago when Hannah was born, remember? How's Elle? Is she doing her homework? She's... she's fine, Dad. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are gathered in your church today, not to mourn the passing of Stanley, but to celebrate his life on earth. Stanley was a much loved father and a grandfather to his family. We pray, Lord, that you embrace Stanley and guide him to the gates of heaven. Amen. Amen. And now Stanley's grandson, Oliver, would like to say some words. My, my grandfather, um, my grandfather, this is, <laughs> my grandfather in just a few words was a, um, a loving man, a gentle man and a funny man. He always brought such a light to this family and always had my back whenever I would get into trouble. In his younger years, he loved to travel the world and was excited when I made the decision to travel after school. One thing I'll always cherish is the time I, for, I saw him before I left to travel. Um, we sat together and he told me all the places that he liked to visit and how traveling would be an amazing experience. He was right. I miss him so much already. Michael, you, you came. How, how are you? We uh, found this in your grandfather's room when we were clearing out his things. We assumed the mysterious Oliver would make an appearance today, so I guess this is yours. Dearest Oliver, I am so pleased to hear of your journeys. It always brightens my day to see you living unapologetically as yourself. I hope people have been kind. You deserve only kindness. Everyone is saying I'm losing my mind, and mate, that might be true. I'm told that it's only going to get worse as time goes on. They say I'll forget everyone. I hope I don't forget you, Oliver, my dear grandson. I hope this letter finds you in good time. Sending all my love, Poppy Stan. Thank you.